Hello viewers, welcome back to this channel and in this video I am going to discuss about an essay. This uh, essay is written by Clint Brooks and this essay name is uh, The Heresy of Paraphrase. The Heresy of Paraphrase is a literary criticism work. And this is a chapter taken from Clint Brooks' well-known book called The Well Wrote on Studies in the Structure of Poetry, which was published in 1947. And this is considered as a seminal uh, work in the new critical school of literary criticism in American literature. As we all know, Clint Brooks is uh, belong to US and uh, he is also a professor and he has done incredible works in uh, literary criticism. Especially, he, he has contrib contributed immensely in new criticism in the mid 20th century and he has also uh, revolutionized uh, the teaching of poetry in American higher education. Uh, his, uh, one of the well-known works uh, is the, the well wrought earned studies in the structure of poetry, 1947, and modern poetry and the tradition which was published in 1939. And this both tax it uh, argues for the centrality of ambiguity and paradox as a way of understanding poetry and this is one of the most prom prominent uh, contribution in formalist criticism okay now let's come back to our essay our essay name is the heresy of paraphrase heresy means we all know Heresy means uh, it is a, a opinion or belief that is utterly different from what is generally accepted to be true. Okay, means uh, majority of the people accept some belief uh, to be true. That is called heresy, right? And paraphrase means what now? Paraphrase means it is to uh, express something again using different words so that it is easier to understand okay and this thing these things uh, the writer has tried to depict in this lesson or in this essay okay uh, means according to the critic or the writer Clint Brooks uh, he his he considers that a poetry cannot be paraphrased, okay? Um, but in general opinion, people always paraphrase the poetry. But this writer, Clint Brooks, has said that he, uh, he rejects that notion. He says that a poetry or a poetic creation can never be Para paraphrased okay and these all things are uh, make uh, these all things are beautifully delineated throughout the chapter okay now let's dive in to this work as we have already discussed that uh, uh, the heresy of paraphrase is taken from the well wrote earned studies in the structure of poetry which was published in 1947 as a collection of essay by Clint Brooks and it is considered a seminal work in the new critical school of literary criticism and the, the title of this book it contains an allusion to the fourth stanza of John Donne's poem the canonization if you have read the poem then you, you will know and this is the primary subject of the first chapter of the book though we will uh, means we do not need that uh, 
chapter so we will not further discuss that and the the well wrote urn is divided into 11 chapters 10 of which attempt close readings of cele celebrated english poems from verses in shakespeare's macbeth to yes among school children and the 11 chapter that chapter is one of the most notable chapters and that which we are now reading entitled as the heresy of paraphrase it is a polemic against the use of paraphrase in describing and criticize, crit, criticizing a poem. In his summary of this chapter, he says that, means the writer says that, uh, his uh, position is that uh, we can never paraphrase a poem when trying to get at its meaning. We often see that when a teacher is uh, uh, teaching poetry in in any classroom or in any place or for any audience at that time the teacher or the person who is trying to uh, teach the poem he always tries to paraphrase that particular poetry uh, to to get the meaning but in reality according to Clint Brooks a poetry cannot be paraphrase for clear meaning or for clear understanding that was his theory and that is what he is trying to convey in this essay okay then uh, he has also said that uh, poems are not simply messages means uh, when we read poem poems we should not just uh, try to find out the mess hidden message of that particular poem okay and it is not a uh, expression which is uh, written in flowery language and the language which is used in the poem or in the poetry is crucial in determining the message okay that is means that should not be the sole purpose of reading the poetry got it and thus try to uh, thus to to try to abstract the meaning of a poem from the language in which that meaning is rooted the paradoxical language of metaphor is to disregard the internal structure of the poem that gives in its meaning got it and the hearsay of paraphrase as we have already discussed that this is the uh, title of the chapter uh, taken from the well wrote arm and uh, here Clint Brooks argued that uh, meaning in poetry is always irreducible means we cannot reduce the meaning of a particular poetry because a true poem is simulacrum of reality it is an experience rather than any mere statement about experience or any mere abstraction from experience this is an important uh, point and you can note this for your exam means he he says that uh, a true poem is a simulacrum of reality it is an experience rather than any mere statement about experience or any mere abstraction from experience. And he, he has also emphasized that uh, structure, tension, balance and irony over meaning, statement and subject, it always matters. And he also uh, said that uh, heresy of means uh, if some someone is trying to paraphrase something related to poetry or literary works then uh, he always tries to put something uh, meaningless and uh, he he says that in this lesson that it is one's failure to recognize the poem as a poem means if we try to turn poetry into prose then we are uh, doing injustice to a poem and we are 
re regarding the poem as we are not regarding the poem as a poem it will means become something else and uh, brooks also distinguishes scientific statement from poetic one and claims that the scientific statement cannot be paraphrasable and uh, the writer brooks also thinks that the poem is not a scientific prop proposition and it is a structure of gesture and attitude it is wrapped in emotions and it has its own poetic universe constituting its rom romantic structure and therefore poems meaning is always reveal just like dr dramatic effect not uh, like any logical abstraction okay that's it uh, i hope you have learned something new ab about this essay i have tried to give you the knowledge which i have and i hope you have uh, got to know little bit about the essay for better understanding of the uh, text you must read the book thank you so much for watching it bye bye